Now we will start with a magic circle. And chain 5. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we have completed five chains and after that we need to make a double crochet into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert the hook into the magic circle, yarn over and pull through the magic circle. Now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. Now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have completed a double crochet and after that we need to chain 3. So yarn over, pull through the loop. 2 and 3. After that we need to make another double crochet into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert the hook into the magic circle. Yarn over and pull through the magic circle. Now you have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two now you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two again chain three and make another double crochet again chain three and a double crochet and chain 3 and a double crochet and chain 3 Now you can pull this tail tight to close the magic circle. And to close this round you need to put a slip stitch into the back loop of the second chain of your beginning chain 5. 1 and 2 this is the second chain of your beginning chain 5 so insert the hook into the back loop of that chain and yarn over and pull through the chain then pull through the loop now we have completed our first round and after that we will start the second round by making a slip stitch into the first chain 3 space so insert the hook into the first chain 3 space yarn over and pull through then pull through the loop after that chain 3 1 2 and 3 now this is counting as one double crochet and you need to make another four double crochets into the chain 3 space so yarn over, insert the hook into the chain 3 space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, again yarn over and pull through 2. Now we have completed one double crochet, so we will have to make another 3 of them. 1, 2, And three after this chain three one two and three to the next chain three space we need to make 
5 double crochets 1 2 3 4 and 5 After this again chain 3 1 2 3 then you need to work 5 double crochets into the chain 3 space then chain 3 and another 5 double crochets into the next chain 3 space just like that you need to continue until the end of this round so complete the round and meet me back there Now I am at the end of the round 2. Now you need to make a slip stitch into the back loop of your beginning chain 3 to finish this round. So insert the hook into the back loop of your beginning chain 3, yarn over and pull through the stitch then pull through the loop. Now we have completed our second round. Now to start this round we need to chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then we need to make 5 double crochets into the chain 3 space so yarn over insert the hook into the chain 3 space yarn over and pull through the chain 3 space now you have 3 loops on the hook yarn over and pull through 2 yarn over and pull through 2 now this is the first double crochet we will make another four of them and then we need to chain three one two and three and again make five double crochets into the next chain three space then again chain 3 now you have to repeat the exact same thing until the end of this round you need to make 5 double crochets into the chain 3 space then chain 3 again another 5 double crochets into the next chain 3 space chain 3 like that you can continue until the end and meet me back Now I have completed it up to here then again we need to make another 4 double crochets into the last chain 3 space 
वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नाउ वट यू हैव टू डू इज मेक ए स्लिप स्टिच इन टू द बैक लूप ऑफ द सेकेंड चेन ऑफ योर बिगिनिंग चेन फाइव सो दिस इज द सेकेंड चेन इंसर्ट द हुक इन टू द सेकेंड चेन या नो वैन पुल थ्रू द चेन देन पुल थ्रू द लूप नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द थर्ड राउंड एंड आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू मेक ए स्लिप स्टिच इन टू द फर्स्ट चेन थ्री स्पेस to start the next round so insert the hook into the chain 3 space yarn over and pull through then pull through the loop and then we are going to make the outline of the hexagon so for that on this chain 3 space we need to make three single crochets so insert the hook into the chain 3 space yarn over and pull through the chain 3 space yarn over and pull through two Again, insert the hook into the chain three space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Then another one, insert the hook into the chain three space, yarn over and pull through the chain three space, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have completed three single crochets into the chain three space. and after that we need to make one single crochet on each of the next two stitches so insert the hook into the first stitch yarn over and pull through the stitch yarn over and pull through two again on the next stitch also we need to make a single crochet and then on the next stitch we need to make three single crochets One, two, and three. Now we need to make one single crochet on each of the next two stitches. Then we reached the chain three space. For this space, we need to make three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then again the same thing. One single crochet on each of the next two stitches. One. then we need to make three single crochets on the next stitch then one single crochet on each of the next two stitches now we need to repeat the exact same thing until the end of this round so complete the round and meet me back now i am at the end of this round and after that to finish this round we need to make a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet so insert the hook into the first single crochet yarn over and pull through the stitch then pull through the loop now we have completed our hexagon and after that we can cut the yarn
and use your yarn needle to hide the tails. Now we have completed our hexagon. I hope I have explained everything clearly for you and if you have any question regarding making this you can comment on the comment section below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching.